They're serious about the pie here. Oh boy! Hey there, it's Eric with Travels Uncorked. Today we are gonna go road tripping. <laughs> here in Arizona. We're gonna leave our place in North Phoenix and we're headed to Black Canyon City. Kind of a mining history. It's along the Interstate 17, really small quintessential Western town that has a lot of cool things to do. And so we're gonna show you some of the main highlights that you can stop and see in one afternoon in Black Canyon City today. And even if you're passing through Phoenix on your way up to Flagstaff or Sedona, you can make a quick pit stop for an hour or two and see some really great things here to do in Arizona that are very distinctive of the American Southwest. So let's get rolling on the road trip. We've arrived at Black Canyon City. And I wanted to share a couple cool things about this historic little town here in Arizona. Considered the founder of Phoenix, Jack Swilling, actually had a ranch here. And the wall of a barn at that ranch is actually the oldest still standing building here in Black Canyon City today. lithograph of President Lincoln. Like a lot of places in the West, Black Canyon City has a lot of heritage related to mining, but this was actually a stage stop and became a restocking kind of base camp for the miners that were in the Bradshaw Mountains nearby. And so when you come to Black Canyon City and you go to places like the Rock and Mineral Museum, you actually see the history and a lot of the different types of rocks and minerals that you'll find in this area, including in those Bradshaw Mountains. here at Black Canyon Heritage Park. Really nice natural wonder. I've actually just walked out back of where they have their exhibits, where their Chamber of Commerce also operates in their visitor center. And we're just behind that and I'm taking a nice loop around the pond that they have on the premises here. This is an easy walk, it's not much elevation change, but there's lots of these nice benches that are in different colors that are all metal. And they have have those around in different spots. So there's like a little babbling stream that's man-made, but they also positioned a couple benches there so you can enjoy some of the butterflies, some of the birds, and just kind of the natural splendor of being here at the park. So you can be as leisurely as you want. If you want to spend an afternoon here at the park and really get in touch with different things, you can do that. In the pond itself, they worked with Fish and Game to get a couple of native fish species that are endangered. They have them as an area where they can grow and then get transferred to another area that is in need of restocking of those type of fish. We saw what they have, it's called a monarch way station. So it's a monarch butterfly and this is part of their migration pattern. It comes through this area, so they've actually built little pockets of the park that have specific types of trees and bushes that are gonna attract those monarch butterflies naturally as they're passing through this region, whether they're going north or south on their migration. So this is a little close-up detail of the 
Monarch Way Station and some of the milkweeds that are here to provide some kind of food and nectar and support for the monarch butterflies on their journey. Got to see a couple of monarch butterflies on the actual bushes, so we know it's working. If you want to learn a little bit more about the monarch butterflies and their migration, I'd recommend you go check out a website called monarchwatch.org. We're also a birding destination. We have over 95 species that people have logged in here. The watershed area, which is part of the riparian habitat, what's gonna attract a lot of those native bird species. Watershed means that you have water that flows through and wherever there's water, there's life. And so that's what's cool about Black Canyon City and the park here really in the middle of this one lane road that comes through. It's very condensed, it's very easy to navigate. It's really built around the natural elements. So the Agra Freeway National Monument runs right through town. It's a river that used to be heavily flowing all the time year round. Now it sometimes goes down to a trickle or almost is dry certain times of the year. And other years it's pretty robust amount of water just depending on flow and what's coming down from higher elevations that are a little bit north of us. It's pretty neat to go and check this out, go take a little walk around the riparian habitat, see things like the butterfly way station. This pond is one of the only areas that you're gonna see in Arizona that has actual frogs. So we saw some frogs that were jumping around. Finishing up here at the Black Canyon Heritage Park, and we are going to our third stop, which is Rock Springs Cafe. They are known for having world famous pies. And so most people, if they've ever stopped by there or heard about it, it's been a place that has had family recipe pies that have become famous. It's just a couple of miles from where we're at here, and so there's so much more to Black Canyon City than that, but most people, if they stopped in Black Canyon City, they've probably stopped to eat at the restaurant or get one of those famous pies. Yummy! So we're gonna go check it out, grab a beverage, maybe after our walk to cool down a little bit. Definitely take a pie to go. We got the holidays coming up and it's be a great time to get one of those tasty pies to share with family and friends. So I'm here, here in the parking lot of Rock Springs Cafe and you can see how close we are. We're just on the frontage road here, right off the I-17. So it's hustling and bustling behind me. There's semi-trucks going by, 75 miles per hour coming down from further north, heading down towards Phoenix. Motorcycle rides, all sorts of stuff. And this is the main corridor to go north to south or south to north, depending on which way you're going in this part of Arizona. So it is busy. We made it here to Rock Springs Cafe, and I'm in front of the pie box. We're getting close to the holiday season, so they are in full pie mode. Lots of people, parking lots slammed here, and we're here on a weekend. Where the weather is great in Arizona, and so people are out and enjoying themselves and getting some pie. They're serious about the pie here. Oh boy! like 25 different pies but we got the Tennessee lemon so this is kind of like a lemony custard more like a creamy lemon kind of pie Yeehaw! 
Sounded amazing and too good to pass up, so we're gonna take this one home with us. This is a great end to a wonderful afternoon day trip from North Phoenix up to Black Canyon City, formerly known as Black Canyon. It's still not too much of a city and that's what's great about it, but there's a one lane road, it's easy to navigate, and there's a few main stops that we showed you today. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for us. So we learned some other things cool about Rock Springs. There was a man named Ben Warner, and he was really the person who started it all. He was basically an entrepreneur, and he came into the scene when there was a lot of miners in the area, and he didn't want to be a miner, but he wanted to be someone who helped supply the miners with supplies and things to do, and you know maybe the local watering hole and that type of thing. And so he built a lot of the buildings that are still there and are now what's the Rock Springs area in Black Canyon City. Mr. Warner actually built the bricks used to build the building, which now houses all those world famous pies. And he'd make eight of these bricks a day. And so he actually had his own shaper template of the brick, referred to as boot bricks, because they actually have like a boot mark on the brick. Mary Ellen's from a place where they make a lot of bricks in her hometown, so I learned a lot more about bricks before when we've traveled to North Carolina, but it was cool to see some local history here about someone making bricks. Definitely neat to see where things have come and how they've taken the old buildings and historic parts of Black Canyon City and Rock Springs and continue to build upon them and make them something that's even more modern and people are enjoying today.